Hey everyone, Pinchy Owls here, and we're back now at another episode. And today we're going to learn how to install exhaust studs and an exhaust manifolding gasket. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Owls Garage. First things first, we need part numbers. Part numbers, yeah, okay. So, uh, from Eurotuning.com, we are using D40206, I believe. Nope, that's not it, wrong. <laughs> N9018892, those are the part numbers we're using. All right, these are for the studs. You need two, four, six, eight, ten 10 studs in total. These are the locking nuts. Uh, N9020201. And these are the washers. N9035721. All right. So we need to close this garage, there's too much light. Be right back. So exhaust studs are kind of a nuisance. Um, I'm not a big fan of reusing exhaust studs, but what you wanna do is pretty much start them off by hand. Uh, they do have two lengths. There's a shorty and a long. The shorty goes into the actual block, so, or the head. And you always start them off by hand. There's no thread locker required. Now what you want to do is bring them all the way down to the base. Now that we mounted everything, as you can see everything has been mounted down below. Now we're going to use uh, the nut here. Um, now we're using this because we need to actually get them really nice and snug. So what you want to do is um, thread it on for a couple threads. Once you get it on, um, you'll notice the nut actually, uh, the stud will actually turn. And as it's turning, you want to get it down, like I was saying, a couple threads, get another nut that matches. Don't use your new ones, by the way. I never recommend using any new hardware. Use old hardware. Get a wrench to hold it, uh, counter hold, get it nice and tight. And then once you do that, crank it down. Once you crank it down and you notice the uh, nuts starting to break loose again, then pretty much you're going to want to get ready to back it out. This is one thing that you have to do when you install new studs on your um, on any car with the that you're replacing all the studs on, pretty much. Or if you're just going to replace one or two studs, that's all you want to do. Back it out, and then once you're done, like I said, just back it out nice and slow. Uh, if this was nice and if this was done right, both nuts should come right off, and the stud the stud should be in there really nice and snug. Um, we want that because it keeps the hardware nice and tight so when we install our manifold we have less risk of the actual manifold being backed out on its own uh, over time. Uh, there's not really a good Loctite you want to use or anything like that. You just install and use the proper nuts for this. So now after we got everything torqued down, here are the gaskets. There's two different gaskets, and each gasket is a little different than the other. Um, you'll see the orientation where there's the oval, the hole, and then oval. That's going to be the right side. Remember that. That's how you know where the gasket goes. But also the big thing is that little lip on the bottom, that's what covers the, uh, the rear uh, knock sensor. So remember that. Um, you can install these slightly improperly, so it, it can be a problem. So just again, guys, just be very careful. It's a shield and also a gasket. It's kind of a combo. Now you'll see here, again, it goes uh, circle, oval, circle. That's going to be the left gasket. Uh, again, they're not hard to, to mess up, but they're easy to install. There's nothing special. Just slide them on and you're done. Um, once you have them all, the orientation should be pretty straightforward from here. Uh, our next step is to get the manifold on. So we're going to show you guys what to do next. All right, now that we are done with that gasket, now we're going to work on the manifold. 
Uh, the manifold is going to be a headache. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. You guys have to know and know ahead of time. This is a T3, T4 hybrid manifold. So it gives you the option to use those two different types of turbo setups. Uh, this has an external wastegate, which we're not going to be using that for this build. We're going to get a block off play for that. So we're going to slide this on. Once you slide it on, um, what you want to do is make sure there's two things you got to make sure. Um, it can't go flush on all the way to begin with. We need to use a nut. Uh, remember the nut that we have uh, before that we're using to put the um, studs on? We're going to need that so we can have the manifold stick out off the block a little bit. Uh, we need this so we can install the nuts down below. Um, remember the kit that we bought earlier? It came with the washers and the nuts, so remember that. So we need to torque down the bottom nuts first, and then we install the top ones. So now you see here we have the two nuts on top. And now we're going to be able to get all the top ones uh, down. I mean, all the bottom ones in there first. So you have six on top and four down below. The four are the down below are the most important ones to get on during this process. So you want to get a washer and a brand new nut. And you want to hand thread these, okay? The, that's where, how you start this process. If you do not hand thread these, you're going to have a problem. Uh, the nut only goes on a couple threads on the top, okay, guys? And the, we, we need that so we can wiggle it um, so slightly forward and back. This will allow you to get the wrench in actually in there. Because if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to turn these nuts by hand. It's literally impossible uh, to do this uh, any other way. I am just, just want to tell you guys, give you guys a heads up. There's very, very minimal space down below. And if you try any other method, it, you're going to you're gonna hate your life. I'm just, I promise you this, okay? And then as the, the, the manifold gets closer and closer to the block, um, get, you're going to want to take the nuts off uh, on top so you have more wiggle room. That's pretty much it from here. And we're going to start moving forward, and I'll show you guys down below. You'll see down below, we have the four nuts. We've already hand started turning these by uh, as tight as we can by hand. Um, and you'll see all four of them. All four have the washer and the nut. If you do not start these by hand, all four at once, you're not going to get them on anymore. There's a little gap underneath this manifold that allows you to pretty much slide them in, turn them, and then you use a wrench after that. There's a very little space here. But since we have the nuts on top, the nuts on top are going to keep the manifold at an angle for you. And what you want to do is turn the manifold um, clockwise. So you hold it and hold it clockwise, and that allows you to put the wrench in there and turn the nut about quarter to half a turn at a time. Um, and this is very time consuming. Do not tighten one nut all the way down. You want to tighten all the nuts pretty much identical all the way down. So. If you go halfway on one side, you got to go halfway on all the others on the bottom. On top, once where everything's done, we'll be able to tighten everything on top and then torque everything to spec. That's why this is just such a pain in the, the rear for this setup because it's very, very time consuming. So have fun because <laughs> you know I did. So here we are at the last part. We got everything tightened down. We walked everything down uh, on the bottom. Then we did the top. Everything on top is just pretty much a cakewalk. Just tighten everything down just uh, in a pattern. Uh, when everything is tight, we want to do things kind of like uh, tighten it down in the opposite pattern. Um, again, um, you'll see here it's a T3, T4 style manifold with an external wastegate. Ten washers, ten nuts. Tighten everything down. Torque it to spec. And you want to use factory specifications. Nothing crazy aftermarket stuff. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, just remember, when we do this, just take your time. It's a very slow process, and don't strip the nuts. That's that's pretty much it. So, as always here at Pinchel's Garage, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. Peace out, everybody, and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. This is such a great and exciting build for us on the Patreon-built BR6 Turbo. It's literally almost done. So, see you guys later. Peace out.